Good evening, everybody. How are all the Fed heads feeling out there? Are you happy? Are you impressed with Roger Federer's performance tonight? Or are you a little concerned? Certainly wondering how my friend from Coffee Break Tennis is feeling, Matt Bradshaw, on Roger's performance tonight. He gets through in straight sets, so it was relatively routine, but he did have a bit of a scare in the second set where we went to 7-6, and in the first set, the score was 6-4, so relatively pretty close match, 6-4, 7-6, and then he cruises in the third set, 6-2, against Fuskovic from Hungary. Say that 10 times fast, and do you even know who he is? Because... This is by far the best he's ever done in a tournament. This is by far the most tournament he, money he's ever won. I think he is 25 years old, and he's won a total of $600,000 on tour, rarely being in the main draw of tournaments, never even winning a challenger tournament from what I understand. And then he gets to go and play the biggest legend of all time, Roger Federer, I bet you that was quite a thrill for him. One thing that's kind of cool, though, this is not the first time they've met. They've actually been sparring partners. All right, so uh, isn't playing the live feed isn't playing for me. Federer looked okay, not very sharp, but didn't really need to be today. That's exactly right. That is uh, one thing that Andre Agassi has been teaching Novak Djokovic is you only need to be better than the person on the other side across from you. You know, you don't have to win the whole tournament in one night. You just got to beat the person in front of you. And that's what Roger did today. Mission accomplished. But we are seeing some, uh, you know, comments here where people are not very, not very excited. Okay. We have weak performance from both players. And yeah, I think if you are uh, used to watching Roger Federer play, you want to see him put on a show you want to see things flowing off the racket. You know, he just can make the game look so easy. And we are noticing that through this tournament that Roger has not really been challenged yet, but he has yet to really fly full flight. You know, he hasn't been in, in, in the ultimate Roger form yet. And so I think everybody is waiting for that and thinking at some point we have to see this if he's going to win the entire tournament. I hate watching Roger play weak players. Why is that? Anthony says, I hate watching Roger play weak players. Um, you know, that, that that could be true too. You know, I, I, I played a lot of junior tennis and college tennis and, and um, you know, my coaches would say sometimes I would play down to the level of the competition and that, that frustrated them. And uh, we all can tend to do that. So maybe Roger did that a little bit tonight. Burdich is playing solid, brimming with confidence. Fed is going to have his handful, says Harris. Uh, and that is uh, maybe true, guys. Um, if you're just joining us, we are reviewing Roger Federer's match tonight. My name is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Uh, we have the original Fed head, Matt Bradshaw, who runs Coffee Break Tennis, which is the fastest growing talk show on the internet with tennis. And... Um, so we know that we have a lot of Fed fans out there watching tonight. If you're watching this video, we'd love it if you would give it a thumbs up. If you give us a thumbs up if you like Roger, uh, it seems like we have a lot of people concerned. Burdett scares me, says Djokovic, because he truly can believe he can beat Roger. Yeah, here's the thing. Burdett has lost to Roger now, I think, eight times in a row. Fed heads, if I'm wrong, you can correct me, but I think that's what I heard. He, is, he has lost to Roger eight times in a row. But he has also upset Roger on some of the biggest stages in the world. He's beat him at the U.S. Open. And uh, when Burdich has been on and Roger has been a little off, Burdich's game has looked pretty overwhelming to Roger when, when again, Burdich is playing with confidence. I mean, he has the game when he is on where Roger is not on to really take it to him. Burdich can really take it to anybody. He's got big flat serves. He's got big flat ground strokes. He's a big dude, and he is a very accomplished player, and he's certainly used to be playing on the biggest courts uh, in the world. And so he's beaten Roger before, and he's beaten Roger in some big matches. So we have some people who are concerned about this. 
All right, I'm scared. Djokovic, not a Birdman. So Liam says, I'm not scared of the Birdman. I'm scared of Djokovic. So we're thinking if uh, Roger can get through um, Burdich, then he's got to go against Djokovic. And yes, so Roger's got some tough matches ahead. The good thing, though, is he's uh, relatively rested. And uh, I think that uh, Roger, from match to match, the, the, the thing that we all have to understand, some people are upset that Roger didn't really, you know, play full form, uh, be his normal self where he just looks Mr. Perfect. A lot of miss hits coming off that backhand side still, and I'm sure that's concerning some people. But look at what Djokovic did against Monfi. He didn't play very clean. He looked kind of not very good. And then the next match, he comes back and wins very easy in three sets. So, um, you know, you never know. I, I think also, though, we have to wonder. I, I think Rafa looks pretty tough right now. You know, I, I think uh, if we watch what happened tonight with Federer and then we look at where Rafa is, and Rafa's kind of feeling good, and he's also – uh, showed last night that he he can play pretty well in a grinding match and facing lots of pressure. Uh, certainly, if you are a Roger Federer fan, this all concerns you. Let's uh, I'm going to look inside the numbers for you guys a little bit to see exactly how clean or not clean the match was. Uh, so let's go here. I'll even um, share my screen with you guys. This takes me, we're live. So this takes me a, a couple seconds to set up for you guys. We'd love to know what you thought of tonight's performance. I imagine most of you out there watching right now are fed heads. We have Matt Bradshaw, the original fed head who runs our beloved coffee break tennis show. I wonder if he uh, is, is uh, out there right now watching our live broadcast. Certainly, Matt always sends me his uh, videos as soon as he gets them up. I get a nice text from Matt saying, hey, check out our new Coffee Break Tennis. Um, let's see here. This is These are the stats that uh, on the Australian Open site. Hopefully, you guys can see that. So aces, Roger had six, and Fuskovic had five. Pretty close there. And... Six is a solid number, though Roger lots of times can get up in that 10 to 15 uh, range when he's serving really well. Double faults, two double faults, not really a big deal there through three sets. Now, first serve percentage in, 59% for Roger. I think that that's – when Roger's really playing his best tennis, I think that's kind of a low number. What do you guys think? I, 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 Roger lots of times can be up about 65%. If he's serving 65%. Anything over 60 is good for Roger. But I, I've seen Roger, you know, look a good solid 65%. I think that's where we want to see those numbers. He won 83% of his uh, first serve points. That's pretty awesome. 76% of his second serve. So obviously holding serve pr pretty easy. Now, I think here's the concern if you are a Roger Federer fan. When Roger's not playing his best tennis and not winning the big matches, he is historically low on break point opportunities. Three for 10 against somebody who has never been on this stage. Um, you know, this is this is by far the, the the biggest match of his life. So the guy had to be nervous. And Roger was only three for 10 against, you know, not a great opponent. So I, I think that that is a big number. Because if it's three for 10 against Vucevic, what's it going to be against Rafa, who is the biggest, greatest, you know, big point player, you know, and Burdich and and Djokovic, what, what's going to happen there? 34 winners to 23 winners. That's solid through three sets. Uh, so there you go. Where are the unforced errors? Do they have the unforced errors? I want to see. Average serve speed, from Roger, 169. I want to see the. Uh, I want to see the unforced errors. Let's see if we can see that. Passing shots, lobs, overheads, drop shots. Look like that's not in there. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen, come back to you guys, see what you guys think of these numbers. Okay. So Coffee Break Tennis is there, and he's saying they don't. What, what do you think, Coffee Break Tennis? Are you happy with your boy Roger's performance tonight? Or are you scared? Are you shaking in your boots right now? Fed couldn't find any rhythm today because of the low level. So lots of you guys are saying that darn Fuskovic, who 
who's just like a minor league player out there, just didn't let our boy Roger, you know, there wasn't enough maybe pressure. Roger kind of knew. Ro okay, so Matt is happy. Matt, Matt, can you explain why? Can you give us a little text why you are okay with Roger's performance tonight? Birdman is in big trouble. Matt says Birdman is in big trouble. Watch out, Birdman. Matt did one of these here tonight. <laughs> so Birdman, watch out. Watch out because here comes Roger. And I think, you know, Roger probably will go most pros who can play perfect tennis like Roger can. He's probably, you know, he was very nice with Jim Courier and acted like he was very happy. But uh, someone who's used to such a high standard, he might go in a lot locker room kind of thinking, okay, Roger, you need to get your acting gear uh, next match. And, and so uh, he's probably relieved to know he got through today in straight sets. He had a little bit of a challenge. It's always nice to feel those nerves. You know, what if what if Roger would have won? I know some people are upset about uh, Roger's performance tonight, but think about the opposite way. If he would have won 6-1, 6-1, 6-1, of course we'd be more happy that we got to see all these beautiful winners coming off Roger's racket and that he's hitting the ball clean, but he wouldn't have felt any pressure. He would have felt zero pressure, and you can bet – in his next match against Thomas Burdich and then Djokovic and then Nadal, he's going to face pressure. So it's good that he was able to face pressure tonight without actually ever feeling in danger that he might lose. So I think that's kind of good to be able to play matches like that to where you're feeling the pressure from your opponent, but you're also kind of going, well, I'm just kind of measuring everything against myself. I'm not going to lose tonight. I just don't feel like I'm you know, firing at 100%. All right. He's usually pretty right. Who's usually pretty right? So people are agreeing exactly. Very cool. So um, what is, let's, let's get some thoughts out here before we uh, take off for the night. I see that we have 11 thumbs up. I'd like some more thumbs up, right? Give, give the screen a thumbs up right now. If you are new to our channel, Crunch Time Coaching, why don't you subscribe right now if you love tennis? Because we do lots of cool stuff with tennis. Uh, also, you can head on over to Coffee Break Tennis and give that a subscription because that is a phenomenal, fastest growing tennis talk show. I like how Matt labels everything. I love that. Matt, something on Schwartzman giving us a blueprint uh, for Nadal in your next video. Okay. Yeah, Schwartzman, man, what a, what a match he played. What more thumbs up? Matt is saying, gives us more thumbs. Oh, we already went up to 17 thumbs up. And then someone said, you know what? I don't like you. He's giving me a thumbs down. So I'm sorry, Mr. Thumbs Down guy. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So here's what I want to get before we take off tonight. Roger Fetter plays the bird man. Who thinks, who out there thinks, I want you to write this. If you think Roger Federer might lose in this next match because he's just not sharp right now, and some people said Burdick is playing with a lot of confidence, he's playing very clean tennis, write down lose. Like you think Roger Federer is going to lose. If you think Roger Federer is going to win, write down win and how many sets. How many sets is it going to take uh, Roger Federer to win the match? And... Uh, then going forward, is, that, is is Roger Federer going to win the tournament in your mind? All right, cool. We're getting some people. get. We got a couple more thumbs up. I want Cheez-Its before it signs off. I wish I had some Cheez-Its, Matt. So here we go. We're getting win in four set, win in three sets, three sets to one. Flip, flip is right. Philip is right. Uh, win in four sets, in four sets. Three sets win. No one's so here's the the, the funny thing. VJ Fedhead. Maybe, maybe, maybe VG VJ Fedhead is the original Fedhead. Uh okay. Win in three or four sets. So people were concerned about Roger's performance tonight. They were concerned about Burdage, but everybody's saying, hey, they still think he's going to win. They still think Roger is going to win, no problem. Bird is scared of Federer. Who isn't scared of Federer? Well, maybe Nadal's not scared of Federer, but even last year, I think uh, I think Nadal started to get afraid of uh, Federer with how how uh, easily Roger was handling 
um, him last year. So, all right. So going forward now, here's, here's the next question. Who thinks Roger Federer is going to win, win the Australian open? And, and uh, even, even when we go, when we're not live, I want to see these comments too. So comment below. Who thinks Roger Federer is going to win the Australian Open? Write when, write who he will play in the final, and how many sets that will take. If you think he's going to lose, write lose. And who do you think he's going to lose to? And how many sets that's going to take to put Roger out of the tournament? So, of course, Matt, by uh, surprise, has said that he thinks that Roger Federer is going to win a tournament. What a big surprise. Matt, have you ever predicted Roger Federer to lose a tournament? That's what I want to know. But if you watch Matt's show, <laughs> Nadal will cry this time. That's quite a prediction. I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, that is one thing. Nadal does handle his losses better than Federer. Federer can get kind of teary-eyed up there on stage sometimes. But it seems like I think Roger, I think Rod, I think both those guys are past that point. No, I can't comment below. Anything less than his best, and he will lose before the final to Novak, unfortunately. Guys, that may be, I mean, Novak is tough, uh, but um, it seems like we have people afraid of Novak. And Novak, I don't think, is playing great. I think his serve is very shaky right now. And I think if he goes out there and gets nervous, uh, Roger, they, they showed the, Ser, Serena's coach. Look up on YouTube. Serena's coach did a great video on how Novak's serve is not landing near the lines. Did you see this, Mr. Coffee Break Tennis? Novak's serve is not landing near the lines right now. It's landing more in the middle of the box and very short in the box, especially on the second serve. So if he does not pull that together, Roger's going to have a field day on Novak's second serve. Novak better play the ground strokes of his life if he's going to beat Roger because Roger's going to be giving him some big first ball returns. So um, anyway, yeah, put the link up of of what that uh, video with, with uh, Patrick, um, Serena's old coach. I don't think I can find that right away, but it is good. If anybody can find that link, Maybe you go searching right now. Maybe, Matt, if you could look that up. It is a great video where uh, the coach breaks down Novak serve. Actually, we're going to be coming out with a video of is Novak's joke of its serve good or bad. It's going to be really good, too. I can't wait to see. All right. I see that my computer battery is running low, so I better hang up before my computer literally just runs out of juice. We're both tired from watching tennis. It's 2.08 .08 a.m. I'm going to let Matt take over. The next time you see us, you'll see Matt's Coffee Break Tennis. Matt, put that up on uh, the both YouTubes. Let's put that up on Coffee Break Tennis and Crunch Time, and um, you will be able to see Matt... Uh, coming at you live 11 a.m. Eastern with his <laughs> booster, with his uh, prediction and how he felt about Roger's performance tonight. Tuck us in, Pete. Okay, everybody, I'm going to sing you a lullaby. lullaby. Roger Fetter is the greatest. Don't worry, he will win. He's the best. He won't let you down. And he's always there for you. All right, guys. See, I did that just for you, Matt. <laughs> okay. Doesn't get any more embarrassing than that. Guys, give me a thumbs up for that song, please. Good night, everybody. Uh, take care, Fed Heads. And um, we will see you with another post-match with Pete relatively soon. We had somebody crying for that. Everybody get a good night's rest. There's lots more tennis to come.